Yo, and welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit the 100 sub. But anyways, back to some Rush of Love. Let me move this back. All right, so I got your darn fish. You bought me a Silk Stripe Marlin for me? Thanks. E, what's the 10K gold that gave you not enough? Mm, yeah, nope. Oh, really? Um, I just remember, remember that I had something to ask you. Cecilia, avoids your eye contact. Cecilia, avoids you. Okay. As she continues to speak. Hmm, I see. You owe me 10K, ma'am. I want my money back. Okay, you have to give me an honest answer. Don't lie. Are you good at cooking? I cannot boil water. So, you know... Oh, my. You just said you won't ask anything else from me. I guess I can trust you. I know how to cook a few dishes. Sheena taught me that much, but but you have to use fire to cook a silk stripe marlin, right? Cecilia's so shoulders hunch up in discomfort. I re I really don't like fire. Why are you working here? Does she work here? Maybe that's just me. I don't understand how people just wave their hands over and open fire. Oh my god. Oh my Arceus. I was going to ask Sheena for help, but she's in Tara for a business something or something right now. You're so selfish, ma'am. Keen's birthday is just around the corner. I can't just wait until she's back. Do you think? No. Ignore her. Um, one moment. I have a favor to ask. Nope. Kassira grabs your sleeves and peers up at you with pillow eyes. Ignore her. All right, fine. No, ma'am. You said you said only one favor. I gave you your one favor. And we're done. I don't even know you that well. Sure, if you're a Morgan, I'll do anything for you. Or now. Or Price. Who else I'm missing? No, probably just those three. So, How did I end up having to make a birthday present for such a person? Urgh. You so crosses her arms and sighs. I know it's for Cecilia, but I don't like this at all. What do you think, Ursula? Shall I just blow off this birthday party? I mean, what do you want to do? It's it's up to you. Uh, get some rest. Shaw pork steak. What kind of steak is that? I, I like how you ignore why you said. Keen really likes this kind of stuff, but it's so greasy. He's so weird and disgusting. His greasy hair. His filthy clothes, that smell of sweat that follows him everywhere. Just thinking about him makes me sick. Are you in love with him too? If it weren't for Cecilia, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't ever have had to see that bum again. I love her like she was my sister, but I really want to smack her sometimes. I do agree. Why do I even have to help Cecilia with this? She's got her things and I got mines. What do you think, Ursula? So this has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, but she is like your sister, so you should help her. What? Uh, who asked did you anyways? You did. Your soul sticks her tongue out at you. I guess you're right. He did save my life. I suppose. What a pain. I never asked to be rescued. <laughs> okay. You'd rather die then. I'm not so good with cooking, but Sheena can help me. A tramp like him will probably like anything I make for him, no matter how bad it really is. Well, he better. This will be my first time cooking after all. Can't believe I'm cooking my first meal for that oaf. Hmm, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. I'm not cooking for him. He's my guinea pig in my first food experience. Yeah, that's the way I go about it. Right. Better do my best then. Is she trying to justify her actions by saying that it's an experiment so she doesn't have to admit that she likes him? Cook up something that never been tried before. Could you find me some better pork or something? I ate the best pork in all of Uda, not all of Aaron. This will knock King's sock off. He won't know what hit him. He'll never forget it for the rest of his life. So, uh, you know that cook in Taro Castle, Glynius? Yes. I knew it. You Malaysians are all well connected. Oh, man, I should have said no, so I won't have to go get it for her. Glyn... Is it Glyn... Gluas? Glynias? Glynias should know more about cooking than anyone, right? Could you ask him what ingredients I should use for my incredible port experiment? You so rummage through her pocket and pulls out a note. Here, this this note has what I'm thinking of cooking. Get all the finest ingredient from Glennis. If he asks for money or anything, just mention that it's for you soul of Emain Maka. He'll give you everything for free. Alright, better than the other little 
no biscuit. Get going. You all will be amazed by what I have in store. Just you wait. You so laughs and slaps you on the shoulder. That's her way of saying goodbye. Cooking is everything to this man in the black scarf. No, he does. As the top chef in all of e Elect Kingdom, he's treated with respect. Not just his for his rank, but also for his marvelous uh, delicacy he cokes out of the kitchen. Hmm, oh. Glenas is enjoying a glow glowing green soup. This is the stuff I make the best poison herb stew. I never cease to amaze me. Hmm, you look familiar. What do you want? Glenlass can barely speak through his laughter. You salt. You salt needs the best pork there is? Of course, she can have some. Speaking of which, I haven't seen her in a while. She didn't have a smidgen of e it took what? How do you pronounce that? It took it? No. I don't know. When she was a child. How is she these days, I wonder? Anyways, here's your pork ass. You salt to... You salt? You soul? You soul? Maybe the T is silent. Ask you, you soul to write me sometimes. Glenas suddenly bursts into laughter again. Ha 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 ha. Glenas dives into the trash bin <laughs> corner. The sound, sound of his heaving fills the kitchen. I think you're poison, man. Real men like it raw. Okay, dude. Wow, you really brought the pork. You soul carefully inspects the cut. Is this really the best quality meat? Glenas didn't short change us, did he? Or did you? You so narrows her eyes. Nah, I doubt you have the guts to do anything. Sorry for doubting you. Oh, and thanks for going all the way to Tara. While you're helping out, mind doing the cooking? I don't know if I really want to cook for a guy like him myself, no. What? Why not? I mean, I don't really need your help, but cooking is such a pain. I mean, it's your idea. You can do it. You so fiddles with her bra bracelet. Looks at you with big eyes. Are you guilt tripping me, ma'am? Refuse. All right, all right. I'll do it myself. I don't need your stupid help. Get lost. Look, if you guys didn't have a roundabout of trying to ask me to help you, I would do it. If that was like the first thing, instead of trying to guilt trip me, manipulate me, to do the cooking for you, then it'll be fine. I'm assuming Mina's gonna show up in this kitchen too. And I'm back, so, hello Ursula. Mysterious sweet scent waltz from Mina's hair. I feel like, never mind. I hope I wasn't too rude when I bump into you in your main maka. I was just stressed about Kane's birthday party. I hope you can forgive me, I forgive you. I mean, it wasn't your fault. I knew you would forgive me, Ursula. Thanks for understanding. I know I act like I've known Keen for a long time, but to be honest, it's only been a couple years. And last year, I ruined his birthday party in grand fashion. I didn't know he was lactose intolerant. Needless to say, the cheese gratin I made for him didn't agree with his stomach. And instead of telling me he ate it just to be nice, aww. That's just the kind of man he is. Sure, he doesn't speak much, but inside he's the sweetest, most considerate person I ever met. And he always looks out for me. Anytime he accidentally knocks me down when we spar, he's by my side in an instant to make sure I'm okay. Seeing his face above me framed by the blue sky makes me forget all the pain and hardship I want to reach out. Oh, I, there's a period right there. I want to reach out and take him in my arms. But Keen is really happy that Cecilia and Yusso are coming to the party, I can tell. He likes those girls, and in the end, I'm stuck always looking after him, like I'm his mother. Yeah, I saw that. What do you think, Ursula? Has he grown tired of me already? Why is that your only option? Your only choice? No? Thank you. I doubt you mean it, but it's nice to lie to hear. Mina wipes away a tear. I can't believe I told all this to a Malaysian. Okay, that's racist. You probably don't care about my boring problems. Sorry. Uh, you're, you're, you're not wrong. You're... You came here to help me get ingredients for any for my dish, right? Go see uh, Stuart from the school in Dunbar, and he has the item I need. I'll get I get it myself, but I have reasons for staying behind. I'm counting on you. So I'm assuming it's to set up the birthday party. Also, I gotta finish the blonde and stuff so I can get the blossom knuckles. I've been just doing it in the background while I was waiting for the quest to come in. So, yeah. 
You must be a Malaysian. What brings you to the magic school? Sora looks at you over his glasses. Mina. Mina, did she mention me? She told you about the hazel mushroom. Hazel not mushroom, didn't she? Sora silently rummaged through his cupboard. Here you go. I must really be a fool. Sora bites his lower lips and stops talking. Please leave. It's not your fault, Ursula. I don't feel like talking anymore. What's wrong? Does he like her? Man, all this this love square. It's complicated. I hope I, I just hope they don't bring me they don't drag me into it. This taste of nut mushroom is from Scott Hat Beach. How does he get his hand on such thing? I hope I didn't pull him out too much. Every time she mentioned his name, Mina smiles. Oh is this do they like each other? These mushrooms are better than I thought. I mean, I ship them. Thank you. Anybody can make a delicious dish with these. That reminds me. I heard that Malaysians are all great cook. Do you want to try cooking this by chance? You might have picked up on this array, but I'm not really good at this kind of thing. Sure, since you asked me nicely. Compare to some other people who are manipulating me. Thank you so much. If it turns out good, I'll repay you with something even better. Um, what do you want me to cook? Wait, why, why, why am I scrolling up on the name of the quest when I can just open it and look at it? Okay, what do you want me to cook? It doesn't say. What is it you want? I mean, maybe if I put it in the thing, it will just pop out. But then I have to figure out what cooking uh, equipment to put on. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. You know what? Maybe if I put the ingredients, it'll just popped up. Because right here it says crunchy mushroom cookie using cooking from the wiki. Where, where are the ingredients? Oh. Whipped cream. And then the mushroom. Oh, is it in quest? Yep. I thought it will find it for me. Is is this wiki outdated? Is it no longer called Crunchy Mushroom Cookie? Am I stupid? And it's, and it's just maybe it's Mushroom Crunchy Cookie. We have Mushroom Cookie. Is that it? No, this requires a normal hazel hazelnut mushroom. Bro, am I blind? Is it here? I just don't see it. All right, I'll be right back again because what is this called? All right, I'm back. So I looked it up and under the crunchy mushroom cooking, the wiki says, as of the culinary artist update, all three dishes involved in the rush of love quest line are bugged. Attempting to create the dishes will result in food waste instead. So that's why it wasn't listed. I guess I have to refuse her then. I'm sorry, Mina. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Come on, Ursula, you're not going to leave me hanging like this, are you? Grab your arm and whisper shyly in your ear. Oh, 
Oh, so you're gonna do that. All right, all right. If you can't cook either, I can do it myself. Must have been tough getting these mushrooms. I'll see you at Keen's party. I'm sorry. Blame the developers. Blame Delph Cat. But with that, I'll just stop here after getting stuck on this bug that I didn't know that was a bug. I just refused the other two because, you know, from how they were acting. But this, this is on the game itself. But anyway. Oh, I, I just swallow my spit. Um, I guess I'll stand next to you, fat boy. Or girl. But anyways... Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time on this shenanigans of love. Bye.